Okay, so we have our materials all set up and done in the previous tutorial. Now we're going to make a particle system. Uh, right click and go to New Particle System. And under Group, we're going to put Particles. And I'm going to call this P Effect underscore Fire Tutorial 01. Enter. And it's right there, and you'll see the particle effect is behind system is behind it. I'm just gonna close it real quick and do save. Okay. Double click on it, open it up. This is the particle system viewport. Over here is the where you'll be making the particle system. Um, this is where you'll be putting in values, and this is the curve editor. So to make a new particle system, right click and create new particle, and you'll see there it is in the viewport. Uh, right mouse button sc scales in and out, and left button rotates. I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of what these are. Uh, this is the particle emitter. This is the top, of course. You can give it a name. We'll call fire. Required is where the emitter um, information is located for the materials. Uh, sub UV is for doing tiling textures. Um, Duration, delay, rendering. Uh, spawn is the is is the rate at which every, it is uh, each particle is kicked out. Right now it's set to twenty per uh, per second. I can make this a hundred, or I can make it one. Lifetime is how long um, it lasts for. Right now it lasts for one second, minimum and maximum. Initial size is the size of the sprite particle which we're using. So right now it's set to 25. Uh, the velocity, of course, is um, the direction it's going, uh, the speed. Right now it's set to Z100, so it's going 100 up right now with a minimum of 50. And color over life is, remember we did the, I showed you how to do the vertex color. This allows you to control the color of the particle system. So Essentially, you can we can use the one texture, and we can make fire, and we can also make cloud. Um, and it also comes with the alpha of a life, so we can fade, um, we can fade in and fade out the alpha channel. So that's the basic breakdown of the particle system. And so, let's start plugging in this everything. So we'll select our cloud to t cloud material, and go go to required and plug it in right here with it plus and then restart the simulation and you'll see there it is right there we're gonna go initial size and since it's a sprite these can stay can be zero because they don't sprite only uh, for the size only occurs on the X so we're gonna make that a hundred and I'll make that 80 On the velocity, uh, max, I'll give it a 20, and 20, and minimum. So x is, on the x direction, it's going 20. So on the y direction, I'll go the up direction. So minus 20, minus 20. And the color over life. OK, so you can either plug in the, the, the values by hand or what I'd like to do to have more control is I use the curve editor. So hit the little curve icon right on the corner right here. And this is the curve editor. Now you can turn these on and off so you don't so you don't disrupt them um, just by hitting the little yellow squares. So I'm going to turn off of the alpha of a life for now. And I'm going to turn off the blue and the green. And you'll see when when I select the point and I hit control and I drag it'll ch it changes color to red. See the red value is getting higher so the color is changing okay so then I'm going to turn on the green grab the green hold down control and we'll bring it up and we'll make it a little yellow now say I want to add a point to it all you do to add a point, hit control, anywhere on the curve, select, it brings up another one. And then you can move that one. Now 
Now right now you see there's it's popping. So we don't we're not using the alpha, that's why. So to do that, we'll we'll, we'll let it fade. So uh turn it off right here and turn on the alpha. Right now it's going from 1 to 0 in 1 second. So we need to have it little fade a little bit. So what I like to do is grab the first one and pull it down. So it's starting up. And then it gets hotter. And then it fades out. So right now all the sprites are facing the same direction. So we want to give them a little bit of of a uh, difference. So we want to give a little bit of rotation. So right click and go to rotation, initial rotation. And I like to do uh minus 1 to 1. That way it's always flipping. And we're going to give it a little bit of rotation rate. Rotation rate uh, spins the particle, as you'll see right there. And it's still spinning a little too much. So I'm going to go into just right under here and go to, I'd say, minus 0 0.5 by 0.2. So it's just spinning. It's a little too much. There you go. It's just a little bit more dancing looking. Okay, and the next part we're going to cover uh, fine-tuning a little more, adding some smoke and some of those embers.